What's up, y'all? So today I'm playing Horizon Forbidden West. I almost knocked over a lamp. For some reason, even though you can't see me, I like to emote a lot. Whatever. Either way, today I'm playing Horizon Forbidden West. I really enjoyed Horizon Zero Dawn, but I will say I don't remember much of the story. I just remember the overall gist, so don't get on me if I, like, mess up some lore details. Either way, I played the game a little bit just to, like, kind of prepare so I'm not trash. And, uh, yeah, let's get into it. New game. We're going to be playing on Very Hard. And we're going to do Explorer. Mainly because while I am particularly stupid, I think it would be interesting to watch me fumble around to look for things. Look at that instant load time. Beautiful. But... Ooh, a fox. Those guys with the brand butter... What was his name? That's a sawtooth, right? I only played this game for an hour, so I don't remember much of the lore. It's gonna come back to me little by little. It's a giraffe! I actually really like those guys in the game. I hope we get to climb some more of them. I thought they were pretty cool. Is that a thunder jaw? The thunder jaws are a pain in the ass. They might be like my least favorite enemy. Only because they're difficult, not because they suck. I'm running out of time, Elizabeth. The land is dying. People are suffering. That's not good. Soon, they'll starve. All because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then... Extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia. The AIU designed to control the system. I'm only not talking because I don't want to mess up the intro, okay? I'm walking under a brilliant night sky through a field of flowers. It's a really good intro. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth. That was a couch that was outside her home. Waiting for me. Even though you've been dead for a thousand years. When your You're clone is also your mom, ever had to a mother. called it. And for a moment, I feel whole. What imagery, bro? Come on, this imagery is phenomenal. <laughs> I'm always left alone. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. Varl? So he was in the first <laughs> game, but he looks different. I barely recognize him. The savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Bro, I almost shot you with an arrow. You gotta yeah. announce yourself next time. But that one was in your honor. Snuck up on a killer. Same. So, what are we doing? 
Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the Blight. Both, actually, but, um... I should... Oh, no. I've been tracking you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help Lenora and my family, I swore an oath to help you, no matter what. But you're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Okay, but if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. He wants to help. A focus. Never thought I'd get your second sight. Yeah, I give him credit. This is a brave individual. I'll give you another one later. I'll not want anything to do with this if it was me. Data. data. Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. We're gonna make a tech bro out of you yet. See, to this man, this is essentially godlike shit. Because he's never seen anything like this. Aloy is the only one who gets to see like this. You see like this all the time? Since I was a little girl. Come on. I love the way the technology has essentially just become magic to everyone in this universe. It's like just the idea of like augmented reality. Just seems like it just seems like witchcraft. Which arguably it would to any Shall of us. We? Shit, I'd be nervous too. All right, I got a couple of scrapes on the way here. We should find some medicinal plants, stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. All right, real quick, I'm going to do a recap of everything that happened in Horizon Zero Dawn, for those of you who don't know. If you're not interested, skip ahead like 30 seconds to like a minute and I'll be done. Basically, Aloy was an orphan. She was ostracized from her community because of the way that she was born. She was born through a machine. She's actually a clone of a scientist. The world ended like a thousand years ago because humanity created like these robots. The robots developed sentience and they just started like mindlessly consuming everything in the world. It would essentially take biological matter and turn it into fuel resources. So the entire ecosystem is going to be destroyed, leading to the end of humanity and pretty much all life on Earth. A group of scientists create this thing. I forgot the name of it. I think it was Project Horizon Zero Dawn or just Zero Dawn, which was basically created to like restart the world. So they built all these special AIs and all these AIs were designed for different purposes. Like Gaia, for example, is supposed to be in charge of like ecological shit, stuff like that. So they build all these AIs. AIs are supposed to rebuild the world, bring humanity back, and then eventually continue the world. And one of the AIs, Hades, kind of goes rogue and decides that he wants to destroy everything. So humanity is getting restarted. Hades throws everything off. I don't remember all the details, but the point is shit is fucky and people do not remember the past. Like all the history has just not been given back to them. So humanity has essentially re started from like a from like a tribalistic factions and stuff like that so to them technology just seems like magic either way the whole point of the first game was for aloy to stop hades she did i believe hades was shown to be alive and here we are now all right also she finds out that she's a clone of the scientist the lead scientist who was in charge of like horizon zero dawn so yeah that is my very poorly worded recap of everything that happened in part one a lot more stuff happened obviously and i did not play the dlc so if something big happened there sorry but yeah that's basically the gist i might be wrong about some shit check the wiki if you really care all right let's get into it Okay. Also, I'm playing on. These plants don't look like the ones in the sacred lands. Medicinal bushes, dope. Okay, so this well, mechanic is still the same from the first game. Yeah, well, at least they make you feel better. All right, we should keep going. So the first game is really I fun. Grab more of these plants along Sorry. the way. Sorry, Val. Yeah, good idea. First game's really fun. I do recommend it. Uh, I played this game for a bit. It basically plays almost identically to the first one, in my opinion. I wouldn't say like identically identically like obviously there's some tweaks but if you played the first one recently you will be well prepared for this one um the first game though i do recommend it. if you haven't played it yet it does have a really good storyline uh some of the side quests were like hit or miss but the good ones were particularly good in my opinion and i just really enjoy like the world building of everything because all the stuff that's revealed to you about like the lore of this world and its history is done bit by bit it doesn't do like a big info dump at the beginning like a lot of other games does. 
you just kind of start off not really knowing what's going on beyond like the basic premise and then bit by bit more is revealed to you and i thought the way they did it was really well balanced okay so we have medicinal berries let's say you tap was the blight in the first game i really don't remember <coughs> oh whatever i just touched was slimy i'll take your word for it so i don't know if there's an in-universe explanation but like if this is like a plant and this plant is like choking out the existence of the other plants can't we like burn this like set it on fire chop it up oh but it's poisonous right yeah setting some poisonous plants on fire probably wouldn't be a smart idea you probably inhale a lot of that traveled a long That's way to get here to i almost caught up to you a couple times too okay last time i went to the right so this time we're gonna go left uh, i'm playing on explorer so it's not gonna be Oh, what? Definitely. Definitely. Yo, yo, yo. Let's go. Cannonball? Like... Nice. I remember when they showed this off in the demo. Are those fish? Wait, are there actual fishies in the water? I love fishies. Oh, my God. Wait, I want to check them out. Wait, I want to look at them. Oh, it'd be cool for you to go fishing. Uh, the graphics of this game are phenomenal. A lot of great particle effects, lighting, all that shit. I'm playing on, I believe, fidelity mode. So it looks prettier, but it has a lower frame rate. Um, I don't know if I can even upload 60 frames per second anyways. That's why I went with this. What are we after? But if you'd rather I switch, let me know. The backup? Well, um, it's an AI. It's, um, it's hard to explain. Clorox. Salvaging machine carcasses as usual. And there they go. Looks like they left a carcass behind. So there are these, like, big factories in this universe that, like, are producing all these robots that you see, androids, whatever they are. Uh, they're, like, based off of animals. I forgot why they are the way they are. But for the most part, I think their job is to, like, repurpose materials so that they can build more robots. The robots are not inherently evil, I believe. I think they're just, you know, following, like, their programming. So they have animalistic tendencies. Um, you set the dynamic. It only displays information relevant to the situation. Swipe up on the touchpad. Okay. Um, should I make it not dynamic? Notebook. Okay, I'm not going to read. Oh, well, these are actually kind of short. Should I read these? Yeah, this is a background. All right, real quick. Silence. Yeah, this guy was helping us in the last game, but he was also kind of a dick and, like, keeping a lot of stuff to himself. Little is known about Silence. He's a wandering scholar, sage, and warrior. He's rumored to have come of age from the northern Banuk tribe, and his past is a series. Wait, there's more. Ooh, this is a lot. Ooh, Lord, Lord in heaven. I am not reading all of this um, because that will take a lot and probably hurt my throat. But uh, here you go. Pause to read if you're curious about what it's talking about. But yeah, it's basically recapping the game. Here you go. I don't remember this guy. For Alloy and Outcast of the Nora tribe for birth growing up in Mishitama, her only companion was the stern and passive recluse who fostered her. Oh, okay, yeah, this is her dad. He died in the first game. Yeah. It's very sad. Uh, he basically allowed himself to be outcasted so that way he could raise her because literally the tribe wanted nothing to do with her. Also, then they find out she's like the chosen one and then suddenly they're all up her ass. Bunch of bullshit. Ted Faro. World-class businessman, self-reliant egomaniac. Yeah, this guy's basically Elon Musk in the universe and he's responsible for like destroying the world. Yeah. Yeah, good... Wait, wait, am I right? Yeah, I think he's the guy. He was one of the, he's the one that ended it. Yep, exactly. So he basically was involved in creating these robots. Uh, and then it just kind of went out of control. So yeah, also he's not a genius. He's just stealing from other geniuses. It's Elon Musk. All right, Hades. This is the thing we fought in the last game. I don't know if he's still alive. H I actually want to read this. Hang on. Hades is the Zero Dawn support in a function responsible for emergency reboots. Intend to purge emerging biospheres and become non-viable. Okay, so Hades' job is when the other gods, they're AIs, they're just named after gods. Uh, but when the other AIs are like failing at their job or something, Hades comes in and just basically reboots the shit by killing everything. Um, Hades was developed by Alpha Project lead Travis Tate. In a good world, Hades never reactivated. It was built to take over Gaia and restart the system. Uh, approximately 20 years ago, Hades was infected by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. The signal gave it malevolent consciousness, prompting it to take over Gaia in an attempt to extinguish all life on Earth. 
Guy destroyed herself to prevent this from happening, but not before Hades and all the other functions escaped to ancient computer systems throughout the land. Hades landed the processing orb of an ancient and massive Horus class Faro war machine. There was discovered by Silence a two struck a bargain. Hades would provide technical and historical knowledge, while Silence would provide human followers to Hades' bidding. This arrangement led to the formation of the Eclipse, a cult. Okay, yeah, we fought those guys. But both Silence and the Eclipse were duped. Hades' ultimate goal was to use the Eclipse to attack Meridian so it could reach the Spire. Okay, there would transmit a signal that would activate dormant far war machines across the world, trigger a new extinction. Aloy and her allies thwarted these machines at the Battle of the Alight, Alight, where she purged Hades with a special lance given to her, but by a repented silence. All right, boom. So I believe he's supposed to be dead, but if I remember correctly, in the like after credits of the first game, I think Silence had something connected to Hades. If I remember correctly, don't quote me on that. Travis Tate. Okay, he worked with Hades. He worked on Hades. He was head of the digital security. Uh, he was murdered by Ted Faro to conceal his culpability from Machine Plague. Ted Faro's such a dick. Gaia. Alright, so this is Gaia. She is the one that was in charge of like, bringing back all ecology. So there you go. Pause to read. It's just a lot. It's just a lot. It's just a lot. Pause to read. Pause to read. So wait, Gaia's still alive? Gaia knew her destruction would put Earth in peril, so before she died, she created a birth of a clone. Uh, this clone would defeat Hades. Oh yeah, Gaia actually had like a personality. I was like friends with uh, Lisbeth. Uh, Aloy's wishes only have without controlling intelligence. The terraforming system will continue to falter, resulting in the eventual destruction of the biosphere. From happening, Aloy must find a backup copy. The good thing they made a backup copy, but uh, I really hope Gaia doesn't wind up getting taken over by Hades again. I have a bad feeling about this. All right, this is so back. There you go. I'm gonna scroll through. Pause the read. Pause the read. Yep, yep, he's a dick, he fucked everything up. Not her, um, Ted Faro. And yeah, she died, but, you know, there's a clone of her now, and that's who we're playing as. And then Varl. Varl, I actually don't remember much about. Let's read. Varl's a warrior from the Nora tribe. His mother, Sona, is the tribe's war chief. Okay, I remember his mom. Known for her iron will and stern disposition, she trained him to become a skilled hunter. The most cult uh, murdered a number of Nora youth, including Vala. She died? Oh, no, wait, that's somebody else. Uh, Varl teamed up with Aloy to exact vengeance. Uh, since then, they have a bond fueled by mutual respect and common values. They fought side by side. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why do I not remember much about him? Okay, he looks more familiar without the beard, actually. <clears throat> Aloy vanished after the battle, and he tracked her into the wilderness. Although they once shunned her as an outcast, his tribe now believes she is anointed and destined to carry out the will of the All Mother. As such, he feels a spiritual responsibility. Okay, cool. So basically, he feels morally obligated or spiritually obligated. And also, you know, he's friends with her. All right, I think that's enough. Uh, right, that's enough. Yeah, okay, there you go. What? Nope. Okay. Alright, what am I wearing right now? Nora Anointed. Well-worn armor made with repurposed technology from Ancient Lab. After losing his power source, it was modified to augment range combat. Okay, we out. Alright, sorry about the, all that. I'll put, like, a thing to skip if you don't want to, like, look at character bios. But there you go. If you read all of that, you basically have the summary of the first game. Uh, I probably should have played the first game again. I beat it twice, but it's been literal years. Um, so yeah, it would have been smart of me to play that, but so much stuff has been coming out this month. Like, I have like 24 hours on Sifu, and it hasn't even been out for like two weeks yet at the time of this recording. God, the water looks so fucking crisp. Like, that water just looked good. Swim fast, yes, we can. All right, what's this? Okay, these are one of the machines. All right, someone else is here, clearly. Someone took down this machine recently. Who else would come here? I don't know. We better craft some arrows of our own. There might be trouble up ahead. Good thing we already picked up some Ridgewood. All right, Ridgewood. Cool. Use right. that to make arrows. Now to craft some arrows. Uh, okay, I think they changed. Did they change this? No, it's the same. Yeah, this is basically how you crafted things in the other game. Done. Me too. Arrows ready. Okay, let's grab some more just in case we need it. Uh, I will say in the first game, a lot of fun fighting the robots. Did not enjoy fighting the people. I felt like the people AI was just not particularly good. And some of them were just pretty bullet spongy. Like, they just had a lot of health. Can I jump over this? Yes, I can't. They just had, like, a lot of health, so it would feel like I would just be spamming and cheesing it to try to kill them because they would just take a lot of damage. But I can't reach it from here. 
Nothing a well placed arrow can do to me. Just have to Back target to the lock. Also, I'm playing on a PS5, so there's like haptic feedback and like the adaptive triggers. I noticed the adaptive triggers in this game are lighter, which I think is a good thing, because in some games I feel like they're too heavy and I have to like lower it myself in the settings. Um, just because it, I don't know, it just delays my reaction speed, I feel. This one feels like a good balance. You know what I mean? It's like I can feel it, but it's not really getting in my way. By the bodies. What was this place? Pretty. I don't know. The transmission... The, uh, message I found didn't say. Only that a backup might be here. We need to find a way in. This shit so, is pretty. Um, what happened after I left Meridian? Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. But then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. You were right about that. Oh no, another fox. Why do foxes keep dying in these things? The blight's not just poisoning plants. It's killing animals too. Then people will get sick too. And starve. We're not gonna let that happen. Yep. This is basically a doomsday event. Because if the, if the blight grows too far, plants can't grow, and then all the fucking herbivores die, which means the omnivores die, which means the carnivores die, which means we die. There you go, I gave you a little nature documentary. There's apparently a trophy that if you get it, they'll like plant a tree, but you have to get it by a certain date. I don't remember which trophy it was. I should look it up. Not getting through that way. I'd like to be responsible for a tree. Uh, search cargo crate. Ancient metal eye. Wait, why is there actually an eye here? Some of the stuff you find will have like a weird name. It'll just be like a watch. A few supplies. You play ancient metal bracelet, and it's just like you know a Rolex. All right, some supplies. Oh, we can open cars now. Can we do that in the last game? Oh, did the lighting just change suddenly? Well, how did you get up and I can't? What the fuck? Teach what? Teach me your ways, dude. Oh, there's an invisible wall here. Love that. I hate invisible walls in video games so much. Alright, see, at least they put some bushes there. Alright, uh, which way are we going? Yeah, I'm gonna be just going off tangent a lot, because this game, you know, is a free roam game. And I'm very bad at, like, sticking to, like, one thing at a time. <laughs> so just, you know, you, you, I don't know, deal with it. No, but thank you for watching. <laughs> God, the blight looks so fucking cool, but it also makes my skin itch a little bit. In general, I don't like the look of flaky things. You know what I mean? Yeah, flaky is just not a vibe. Should <laughs> we, oh, does this hurt me? Oh, fuck, it poisons me. It's poisonous. Okay, it's poisonous. It's poisonous. Duh. Why did I not think of that? Like, she literally coughs and wheezes. See, ancient black bracelets. Watch. Metal shards. The metal shards are currency, I believe. Right? I'm like 90% sure they're currency. But you could also use them for like arrowheads. And like other things. Uh, it's like a crafting mechanic. God, this shit is pretty. I just want to look around. Sorry. Alright, alright, let's move. Let's move. Enough looking Down around. This way. Get to the cross. I don't remember this guy. Is this a new one? Seen one of those before. It's new. Is it a ferret? It's a ferret! Oh, but he's not a friendly fairy. Have it on alert. How do you want to handle it? The focus can help us. We can scan the machine before we make our move. Okay. All right. Focus mode. Give it a second. What okay. are you? Burrower. glowing. Those are its weak spots. Weak against fire. You and notebook. Okay, so this is the loot he drops. Hard outer casing. Ocular opponent that is essentially vulnerable to damage. So the eye is indestructible, so it cannot be destroyed, but it has a weak spot, okay. Sound shell, which is basically its neck, right, its chest. Detachable, it can be ripped off. Um, it disables an attack if it's destroyed. It falls apart when it's killed, and it has upgrade resources. And then a resource container on its back, okay, cool. I really like that you could do this, by the way. I hope that they updated it and just made it more expansive, because it was great in the first game. All they need to do is just do more. All right, so scroll through his components. Oh, cool! So I don't have to pause when I do it. Neat. It's I. 
It's a weak spot. Copy. Right. All right, eyes a weak spot. Okay, concentrate. Right. You just stay still for a second. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, slow time. Increase your accuracy. It's called concentration. Bro, you can take a shot too. We almost got it. Crazy that these robots are so susceptible to like a bow and arrow. Honestly. Like you would think just by nature of them being robots, Another they would essentially coming. be invulnerable to this. Shit. Is it the same one? Wait, I just want to see if it's the same one. Are you the same one? Wait, scan him. Burr as well. Is he smaller? I want to see what his attacks are. Oh, okay, he throws rocks. Oh, he's a dick. Uh, how do you how do you roll? How do you roll? Sound wave cannon? Okay, that's pretty cool. But I'm deaf now. He's almost down. Oh god! Alright, that's my first step. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is my fault because I was gawking at him instead of actually focusing. Oh god, embarrassing. I got one kill in the whole game. And then it was over for me. Alright, redo, redo. Rematch. I got this, I got this, I got this. How do you crouch? Square. Okay. Another one's coming. Okay, okay, okay. I got this. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. That was a pretty good shot. Roll. Just keep your distance. Alright, keeping distance is not working. He's approaching very quickly. Oh, that knock him down? Get him, get him, get him, get him. Come on. Give him the combo! I still got you, I got you, I got you. Bro, take a shot, Varl. Jesus Christ. I, I, I shot, I shot, he's down. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh yeah, I can heal, genius. So after the fuss over me leaving. God. What did everyone else That was do? supposed to be nothing, and that was a challenge well, for me. As soon as the celebration was over, my mother led the rest of the Nora home. My son came to the people to work for the building in the city. And I set out to find you. You a good dude, Varl. I really hope we make it through this game. I just have a bad feeling you're gonna get killed, like, within- This is not a spoiler, I genuinely don't know. I just have a bad feeling you're gonna get killed within, like, the first few minutes of the game to give me, like, emotional impact or something. You know, like, you're gonna, like, save me in some bandit warlord with a giant machete for a hand who's gonna come out and chop your head off. And then I'm gonna be like, no, Varl, and swear vengeance. And then later in the game, I'll chop his head off. Or her head off. Let me not assume. Or their head off. Let me not assume. Okay, right, cool. We got the stuff we need. Any supplies? Okay. I'm gonna be doing this a lot just so I don't miss anything. Someone shot this machine too. Fuck him. Glad Another he died. Ladder. Need to shoot off the lock. Okay, okay. Listen, was that sloppy as shit? Absolutely. But um, listen. It's real gameplay, right? At least you know I didn't really pre-game. You said you've had a focus since you were a child, right? Yeah. Found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. That's good to have extras. Uh, talk with the crouch, copy. It's really fortunate that she found a bag of focuses. I wonder if we're gonna give them away to people. Because, like, I feel like that could be useful. There's no way we can, like, teach people to make new ones, right? Yeah, we need to ruin of the old ones. God has protect us. We'll be okay, Varl. Kind of sucks that, to know that their gods are just not real. They're just very high-tech computers. To the far Zenith launch facility. Oh, shit. What's up, buddy? Far Zenith? I, I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn. Who's naming these things? Why would they have a backup of Gaia? Please register with reception for the tour. I Bro, why is they this... want us to check in with them? Why'd they make him so tall? Jesus Christ. Is this to, like, intimidate people so they don't act up with the receptionist? Alright, how do I talk to him? Register as visit visitor. Please hold for identity scan. Okay. Access denied. Please wait here for personnel to assist you. Dr. Sobek. Okay. I guess they weren't on great terms with Elizabeth. Overall, you want to try? Well, let's find a way in. Gotta give humanity credit. 
that uh, hand scanner that they made like a thousand years ago. We should find another way. I guess it doesn't like me either. So far, just you know, this is not like an angel or anything like that. This is just you know, just a computer. Just it's basically Siri with a job. I I, I have a bad feeling something's gonna happen tomorrow, man. I should be able to pry this open. I I I, I just feel it. That door reminds me of Dead Space. Ooh, look, got different shading here. in here. Unless someone dropped in from above. Yo, that fire looks good. What? This is great fire. This is some really good video game fire, bro. Look at this. This is impressive. Well, this is what I'm talking about. All right. How do I grab this? There we go. Climbing gear. Bat with Laura Croft out here. Also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? Um. Hmm, well, we're finding a lot of their gear. What's that stench? My bad, I farted. That fire looks good, though. Wait, what is that stench? Entire oh, it's camp. acid. I doubt. Told y'all it was Taco Tuesday. To for scrap. Acid. That explains the smell. Talk. Those fucking Taco Bell wings, man. It looks like something big came in from above. Crashed right through the camp. And then through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. This is why I be warning people about those Taco Bell wings, man. I warned you about the Taco Bell wings. Did you listen to me? No. Who is this? Let's scan him. You can't scan him. What tribe does he belong to? I don't recognize the armor. I think there was three tribes in the main game. There was like the Sun Tribe that lived like near the desert area. There were the Nora, uh, his guys. Their aesthetic was more like blue. Oh, damn. What the fuck fell through here? I know they were just talking about that, but damn. What animal is this even supposed to be? A fucking T-Rex? Yeah, this is going to be a problem. I'm betting that's going to be a, either a boss at the end of the game or like an early game boss that we're going to beat. But he'll be very easy despite being very large. Can't use this. What are we looking for? Okay, duh. The thing with the icon on it. Examine rubble. It's rubble. Whatever came through here brought this down as it went out. If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. What you got? You recognize the tribe? Some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Okay, we got some things to check oh, out. God. Also, the beard is really working That's for you, Varl. Right through his armor. The beard is working for you, Varl. I think it's a good look. You should keep it. Examine the satchel. A lot of supplies here. Machine cable. Stronger than rope. they plan to stay a while. So they were planning on camping out in these ruins. I'm not trying to be a dick, but like, if these robots are like one, oops. One of the most dangerous things you deal with. Then wouldn't you want to, like, avoid... Ooh, a mannequin. Wouldn't you want to, like, avoid ruins like this? Because this is a place that they were, you know, frequent. Charge attack? This guy wasn't doing nothing. He was just chilling. The fact that they had training dummies here, they planned on staying here for a while. Why, Why are some of the attacks not registering? Get him from the... Yeah. Should have protected you guys. Alright, rucksack. What bird was that? Part of a machine. Could help fix the gears. Alright, I think I have what I need to repair the tool. Or maybe even make something better. You could use this workbench. Good thinking, Varl. Alright, we're here. Alright, the pull caster. An improved version of the Delver's prototype tool that can latch onto objects. 
and pull. It also enables grappling. So it's basically a grapple hook. Right? Is Pullcast the proper name for something like this? Or is it like this post-apocalyptic name for it? Because they don't remember the, the proper name. All right, either way, we got it. Can we upgrade it? All right, we're going to get three more pieces of gear later. Dope, dope. I wonder if we can upgrade anything. There. Uh, pull caster. Now to test it on the debris. Does she name it herself? It's triangle, right? Yep. Uh, the pull caster is a versatile tool that allows you to manipulate objects in the environment. Yep. To have a graded pattern. Okay, I'll be on the lookout for that. Nope. Wrong one. Wrong one, genius. There we go. Wait, nope. Gotta hold it. Mabel was right. The grappling hook is truly one of the most versatile weapons. That worked better than I thought. Come on through. Well, it doesn't look like there's an easy way out of here. I should scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going. Huh. What's this thing for? It is a data console. He still doesn't know what data is. Well, we told him it was information. Alright, he knows. He knows. Hi, buddy. Whoa. Good morning. I'm Oswald Dalgard. Hello. And it is my pleasure to introduce you to Far Zenith. It's trees. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. I didn't realize Woody created Please a company. Proceed into the auditorium, where we'll unveil our plans. Yeah, it doesn't sound sketchy at all. Bro, why would you say it like that? You literally sound like a supervillain. in this auditorium. I'm guessing he's a bad guy. Guess we'll find out. This man's trying to sell things to people. He's like, why don't you come to the auditorium? Well, we're, where will unveil our plans like bro you sound so like i want to run out this place imagine you're just an intern and that's how you introduced to your boss i'm out pulse for my focus is enough here i better scan the area All right. scanning what's that nothing looking for things to scan gotta be something around here uh ooh, there we go i can climb that oh, i might be able to get up there anything else to scan or was that it I feel like I'm missing something. I got through here. I'll let you know when we reach the point I got into the game. Like I said, I didn't get very far, but I did get past this point. Um, how do I, okay, triangle. So when we get to that point, I'll let you know. Uh, oh, I got to jump. There we go. All right, that's cool. Wow, that works. That pull caster is useful. Too bad there's only one. Can't just throw Don't it worry. to him. I'll find you another way up. Why don't I just throw it to him? He can use it and just give it back to me when he's up here. Alright, I guess we're doing it the hard way. I can have a feeling that this podcast is going to be a lot of fun in a hectic situation. Like, there's going to be some giant robot coming to kill me. And it's going to save my life. I, I could just feel like it's going to be a really cool mechanic. Um, sprint? Alright. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. It's the armor, alright? Makes me heavy. Don't put that on me. I know some people were like angry about Aloy's appearance uh, before like the game came out, saying that like oh like they're making women not pretty, and it's like bro, like shut the fuck okay. up. I don't even want to get into it. Just shut up. Tomorrow. Drop the ladder. Like they were complaining that she has like some peach fuzz on like her face. Someone was like, why does she have a beard? Go, it's like bro, have you met a woman? <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like everybody grows a little bit of peach fuzz on the cheeks. It's regular. That's not the same as growing a beard. Uh, how do I open this? People are just weird on the internet, man. I say as a person who's on the internet frequently. Ooh, this is pretty. Imagine, like, just... Can I say this on YouTube? Oh, I'm not gonna say it. Humans. Homo sapiens. Us. We have always pushed the boundary as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our government's abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. 
When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. So it's like a halo ring that can travel? The serious system. There will create humanity's first off-world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it. But when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. That is pretty cool, but a little scary. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chimbumbe, the true storm of immortality is data corrupt. <laughs> I guess it didn't work out. <laughs> the old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Yeah, and they didn't really do much with it. I'll be honest with you, bro. Well, yes, sort of. They all failed. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. Do we know it blew up? I have a weird feeling. Okay, I have a theory. I'm gonna throw a theory at you once the cutscene ends. And y'all let me know if my theory sounds crazy. Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For their colony? Error. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah, yeah. sure, go for it. Reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new bio contagions, rampant AIs. Oh, real life, got it. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? Um. We here at Far Zenith believe escape the inevitable. And wow. So we reach for the stars. This man, it, inspirational. Now you've seen what we're building here infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Wow. Well, Dickhead. You're right about the world ending. They just didn't know how. Yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. Yes. Correct. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Also correct. Yeah, well, didn't work out for them in the end. You know, rich people, they don't give a fuck about everybody else. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. Yeah, they all died though. <laughs> they, they all got blown up. Stupid. <laughs> Trying to leave humanity behind. Now I'm looking for your wreckage. Imagine they actually made it. There. The backup. It should be stored in there. By the way, this is as far as I got in the game. Like literally like this moment right here. I do not know what happens from this point on. Won't be able to swim across. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. <laughs> 